Hey everybody, welcome back to ChallengeYourself.blog. Today we're going to be going over the MyAware muscle sensor. I'm going to do a walkthrough, so let's get started. So for this video, the MyAware muscle sensor uses EMG or electromyography to sense the electrical activity in your muscles. There's a page on the Adafruit site that kind of goes through uh, all of the items that you need, uh, how to hook it up and stuff. Uh, there was a couple little uh, kinks that I ran into that uh, I had to overcome, but I'll kind of go through those in the video so that it makes it a little easier for you. The cool thing about the sensor is that whenever you flex a muscle, uh, whether it's your bicep or your fist or something, it picks up that electrical activity and it gives you a visual display on the screen. And using the Arduino IDE program is very easy to use. It's uh, basically plug and play. You do have to pay attention to the instructions though on how to get it set up if you're very unfamiliar with uh, any of this. Uh, follow through my video, it'll help uh, with the setup. The Adafruit site does explicitly say to use the USB isolator, uh, so you do want to purchase one of those. This is to protect you from any sort of surge or spike in, in the uh, electrical current. If you're hooked up to a battery, that's probably not going to be a, as big of an issue, but if you're hooked up directly to your computer like I have in my video, you're definitely going to want to have one of those isolators, so be safe. Don't skip the isolator, get it and hook it up. So I do start off with the MyAware muscle sensor. I have the pins on the left hand side uh, soldered to the board. This is for the cable, the braided cable that's at the top. There's a couple of uh, places uh, that you snap the electrodes into. The electrodes come six to a pack. And if you're going to be doing any extensive amount of work with this, you're going to want at least a couple packs of those. The isolator uh, is pretty straightforward. As I said, you're going to definitely want this uh, if you're hooked up to your computer directly. And the feather is going to plug into the isolator, unless you're on a battery source. I have the pins soldered to the board. You can see I have a little goober on the A5 pin. That was a mistake. It doesn't make any difference for the purpose of the video. So the MyAware sensor is going to plug into the breadboard and the feather is actually mounted into the breadboard itself. That's what the pins are for. And then the, and then the feather is connected to the isolator, which is connected to the PC. Say that three times fast. So here I'm just snapping in the electrodes. They, you know, snap in and come out pretty easily. This is the braided cable. I used some rubber bands just to kind of hold the ends together. I didn't make a cable specifically for this project, uh, so I'm just using jumper cables. I'm going to plug those together because I didn't know exactly how long I wanted the cables to be. So when you're going through their instruction, make sure that you follow very closely to what, what they're telling you to do. You're going to want to copy that address for the drivers into the window shown on the screen. You hit OK. You go to the board manager and make sure that you uh, check the drop down menu for contributed boards. This is, I think, where my hang up was because there's Arduino uh, drivers and there's Adafruit drivers. And if you accidentally install both of them, the feather may not show up in the list below. I think that might have been the problem because when I removed that and I was working on my chip kit, the when I reinstalled the feather, or excuse me, when I reinstalled the Adafruit driver only, uh, it showed up perfectly. So here we have the assembly. As you can see, the braided uh, jumper wires goes to the uh, MyAware sensor. 
There's plenty of length. And here I was using alcohol swabs. The prepackaged ones are really easy to use. If you're going to use a bottle of rubbing alcohol, I'd probably recommend using something greater than 75% or at least 75%. Uh, if you're using soap and water, make sure that the soap that you're using doesn't have a lot of additives and oils and moisturizers and whatnot because that could interfere with the, uh, the adhesive that they use for the electrodes. So once you take the backing off, you're gonna place the sensor on your uh, whatever muscle that you're measuring. And in this case, the braided wire is pointing towards my fingertips. And then the reference electrode is going on the bony part of my elbow. And the technical data sheet on this has a lot more specific information as to why this is, uh, what some of the little bells and whistles are that are on the uh, board that Adafruit instructions don't mention. Here, once you're all you know plugged in and you're, for safety's sake, you're hooked up to your isolator, make sure that, you know, I wanna repeat that, make sure you're hooked up to your isolator. So once you're ready to go, you can open up the serial monitor and you turn on your sensor and it'll just, it'll start scrolling the voltage is really fast. This isn't a bad thing, uh, it's completely normal. What you should probably see with your hand relaxed is somewhere around 100 millivolts. It's gonna be uh, really small. When you flex your arm, it's going to probably jump up into somewhere between 400 and 1,000. Those are the typical values. A lot of this has to do with placement. You can close this out and you can go to the serial plotter and then you'll actually see this as a graph. And I didn't know that that was available the first time I used this. And when I found it, it kind of blew my mind away. I'm like, oh, this is so cool. So um, I, the one thing I wish that the graph did was it would keep a static y-axis value. And that way you, you can kind of take some of the noise out because when it resets, a small movement kind of looks like it's a big movement and there might be a way to change that. I haven't, uh, I haven't dove into that deep enough to see if that that's something I can change. One of the things that I think is really interesting about this MyWare sensor is that you can connect this to a number of devices. There's a section at learn.adafruit.com, Hey Browse, uh, the video that they have is called Sup Browse, and they hook it up to a cell phone so that every time they move their eyebrow, that the uh, cell phone sends a message, a text message that says Sup to whoever's on the other end. It was a really neat idea, and it kind of prompted me to you know think, how could you hook up MyAware sensors to, say, the robotic arm that I'm uh, working on or you know some other uh, device like that? I think there's a lot of potential for this. It's one of those things where the technology is still new or relatively new, and I, I don't know, you know, the capabilities of it. Uh, but I, I think there's a lot of promise to it. So I'm, I'm going to keep exploring this and see, you know, what kind of capabilities there are for this. So if you have any suggestions, uh, please, you know, feel free to, you know, email me, uh, send, drop a message, you know, below at the bottom of the video. I'd really like to know what your thoughts are on this. So if you like this video and you wanna see more content like this, please hit the subscribe button, hit the like button, and please share this video. More to come, talk to you soon.